I'm Richard Horn. I work for Motorsports Land in Salt Lake City, Utah. We're on State Street at 40, 4001 South State. And I'd like to talk to you today about the 24F Chateau built by Thor. Um, the Chateau is, this particular unit is built on the E350 chassis. It still has a V10 uh, drivetrain. The important part of that is that you actually get more performance than you do out, out of the uh, 5.4 V8. Um, some of the people that other manufacturers will uh, uh, build this on a on the E350 chassis, the little lighter chassis, and put in the smaller motor. We would think everybody wants to have more get up and go than, than less. A couple of the features of the chassis, this particular one has a few some very nice options on it. And one of them is, is the large mirrors. You have, uh, this is about double the size of the one that comes standard with it. Um, it also has uh, cameras, side cameras, and a backup camera. They're, and they're heated besides. As far as the cab goes, this is uh, the common uh, a class C chassis, chassis and uh, cab. Um, very roomy, nice, great for a family, and you sit in a place that's very comfortable to drive. On the exterior, you notice that there's a large uh, awning. The awning is uh, obviously lit with LED lighting. It's a power awning, um, very convenient. And one of the places that people, some manufacturers, will sh go short on is that they'll have a shorter awning that doesn't cover the whole side of the coach. This gives you a great place to do some camping outside. There's uh, exterior power. This is your 110 power supply if you're uh, running anything outside that you'd like to, to plug in. Nice storage. And of course, the exterior TV is a really nice feature. The windows, you notice, are tinted. That keeps the, the heat down and, the, and controls the light inside. <clears throat> On the exterior, we've got our refrigerator that also is, the, the moisture is ducted out so you don't have that uh, condensation forming inside the coach causing damage to the to the structure. Again, more storage here on the outside. This is only a 24 footer and a 24 footer with, with it, some pretty good exterior storage. As we come around the back here, <clears throat> short Class C motorhomes invariably do not have any kind of a stabilizing system or leveling jacks. These are not leveling jacks, but these are stabilizers to keep the walking and the motion inside as you're moving around in the coach from being accentuated. So that gives you some stability when you get to where you're going, where you're going to do your camping. A nice feature of this chassis also is that it has 8,000 pounds for towing. That You can tow just about anything you want with this particular unit. It's got a lot of get up and go with that big V10. You can see there's next to your ladder. Um, if you need to get up on top to check for uh, your, your seals and making sure that everything's been properly taken care of um, so there's no cracking in the, in the caulking up there. One of the, the biggest features of this particular unit is the size of this slide out. That slide out is the really, it's, it's a, we call it a full wall slide. It gives you so much interior space in a short coach. That's the magic of this floor plan. It's been very, very popular at Motorsports Land. Also, right here underneath the slide out, notice a, a very large storage compartment. <clears throat> you can also see where your valves are for your dumping your waste and, and, uh, and water. Power hookup is right here for your convenience, right there underneath the, in the, the bedroom area. And again, additional storage. They've given you every nook and cranny they can give you for additional storage. Water hookup is here. This is your, your exterior shower. That shower has uh, hot and cold water in it so you can adjust the temperature, rinse the kids' feet off or the dog or, or even go out and shower after you've been out to the beach. Let's go on inside and take a look inside. This may not seem like a big deal, but this particular handrail is really great because it doesn't matter how tall or short you are, there's a good handrail for anybody trying to climb in. The, the treads on the steps are rubber to keep people from slipping. That's a nice feature. In the galley, we have a pop-up er, uh, extension with a big uh, farm style uh, sink so that you can get a pot and pans wet. And it's some of those old sinks used to be so shallow, you couldn't even get a, a dinner plate wet. One of the options on this unit is the fact that we have ordered it with an oven. A lot of times they'll get a, a, a microwave oven with, with, no, with no oven. And three burner stove with a cover. And that cover is sweet because it gives you lots of extra uh, preparation space. If you look at this floor plan from just in the openness, because of the, the depth of that big slide, 
it just opens this thing up as like it's a much bigger coach than than it really is <clears throat> and again we're still looking at a 24 foot coach in the galley we got a nice pantry area with drawers that slide out and of course top over bottom fridge it's going to give you plenty of uh, cooling space the bathroom is nice and roomy also got a, a, a power fan in the in the bathroom nice big for or excuse me nice big shower plenty of space <clears throat> again an advantage of this large slide out um, and this particular floor plan is the fact that the queen bed also is part of that slide out and the way that it comes in it'll, it comes in so that you can actually ha have this additional space but the, the biggest benefit of that is that you actually have a walk around queen bed so that as you're climbing into bed you don't have to scoot and slide it is set up so that you can add a an, another tv in the bedroom that's certainly all it's it's all wired and plumbed ready to go if, if you want to add a tv which is really quite inexpensive anymore you have some nice uh, blackout blinds and you have power at uh, at the uh, by the side of the bed both usbs and 110 power <clears throat> and then of course another great benefit is the storage above the bed and then these massive storage compartments here even the the garbage can for the sink or for the kitchen <clears throat> we've got hang we've got shelves and also drawers and cupboards got to keep remembering that this is a 24 footer and there's tons of storage and tons of openness and, and space and of course it comes with the dream dinette right here that is, makes it so easy to make that bed up when you're getting ready to make a bed up for company. So this floor plan actually is set up to sleep six, two in the back bed, two there, and two up here. And this is a majorly large bed and very comfortable. The, you, again, we have USB charging stations. And of course there's a ladder for climbing up to the bed up on top. And then a massive TV up here for the living space. This is a great floor plan. It's one that's been very popular at Motorsports Land. We hope you'll come by and take a look at it.